Hello guys, welcome to this episode, or not really an episode, welcome to this installation video of LSPDFR. So in this video, I will be going over step by step how I install LSPDFR and mods. So sit back, relax. Hey yo, let's get it started. Okay guys, so you have brought GTA 5 and you want to play LSPDFR. But you have no idea how where to get started. I'm here to try to help you with that. Also, if you're having problems, let's say you've already installed it, but your game is constantly crashing, 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 crashing. I'm here to try to help you with that too. Now, I will be going over how I install LSPDFR using the disk. So, in other words, I did not download my game from the Steam site. I actually have the um, game on disk so if you download it from Steam um, it's a little different and if you want to um, figure out how to install it if you download from Steam then um, you may want to try um, Benzo effect. I believe he went over how to install it when you download it from Steam. But it, this one, um, I'm going over how you install LSPDFR if you brought your GTA 5 game on a disc. Alright, so first things first. As you can see, or as you have seen, I was already in the game. What you want before you even get started installing anything, your game need to be working by itself. That's what I mean by itself. I mean just the game by itself. No third party mods or anything. Just the game. If your game is working by itself, then you good to go. Okay, second thing, these are the scripts and the plugins that I will be installing in this video and for any um, scripts and plugins that you want to install I recommend downloading a fresh update even if you think you got an um, fresh update still I recommend going back and downloading Okay, because sometimes, I mean, if you're doing a lot of copying from one one thing to another thing, like you copying your mods from your flash drive back to your computer, from your computer back to your flash drive, some of it may get corrupted in the transfer. Okay, so I recommend re downloading everything. Now, I will be installing a Vets Hook 5, Script Hook 5, Rage Plugin Hook. I will be installing Better EMS, Traffic Policer. Of course, LSPDFR. I don't have that on here. I, I think it's um, self explanatory. So I didn't put LSPDFR on here, but of course, LSPDFR. Um, Traffic Policer. Police Smart Radio, Assorted Callouts, Apple Common, Arrest Manager, Police Search, Traffic Stop Backup, On Scene Backup, LSPDFR Plus, LSPDFR Computer Plus, and Radius V. Now, these are about half of the, of the mods that you see me use in my videos when I'm playing the game. This is about half, half of them. Um, 
that you see me use. Okay, so let's go on to get started. First thing first, um, let's cancel that because I may go back to it. First things first, you want to go to your GTA directory. Now, you can go through your programs if you want to. So, you could go through Let's go to C. And then you could go to your programs. And you could go until you see Rockstar. And go to your, hold on, that's not it. Go to your GTA, or oh, is that it? Rockstar, that's Social Club. Uninstall. Let's do that again. Let's go to Programs. You can tell I haven't done this in a minute, but um, am I missing something? that's social club okay let me go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and this is my GTA directory this is a backup right here that I have now So I'm going to Windows. I clicked on the wrong one. I was clicking on this one. I'm going to Program Files and then Rockstar Games and then right here Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, and this is my directory right here. okay now at this point if you already have LSPDFR installed and you want to try to you don't know what's causing your game to crash you know you get in the game you play for 5 10 15 minutes crash start it over another 5 10 15 minutes crash what I suggest is Right up here, you should see a folder that says LSPDFR. I would take that, drag it out. You will see a folder that says plugins. I would take that, drag it out. I would, um, and if you have any mods that you have installed down here that's not in the plugins that didn't actually come with the game, I would take it drag it out and and that way you should have nothing but these up here so we are going to get started now I've already downloaded the mods and everything and I have them on my flash drive this is my flash drive over here. You can see all the mods I've downloaded over here. And so what we're going to start with first is we're going to start with script hook. Well, let's go over here. We're going to start with advanced hook. Instead of me scrolling down all oh, advanced hook right here I'm going to take this drag it over and it's right in there and next I'm going to do 
script hook. Now you can see I, I have a lot of them downloaded because they're trying to come out with the update. I download the update. This is the latest one. October 27, 2018. So I will open this. And now to open these files right here, I'm using a program called WinRAR. Um, let's see if I mouse over something, maybe hit a pop up. You see it right there where it says type, and it got W I N R A R. I'm using that program. Here's a free download. So here we're gonna take these. Well, not that. We're gonna take all three of these, and we're gonna drag them over here. I'm gonna hit replace. Now, when you drag it over for the first time, you may not need to hit replace. It may just do it. But if you already have LSPDFR installed, then it may ask you to replace it. Okay. Next, we're going to do LSPDFR. And then we do Rage Plugin Hook. So... LSPDFR. Now we, we want to make sure we just doing LSPDFR, not right here he says LSPDFR plus. That's a a mod for LSPDFR. We want to do just LSPDFR. LSPDFR install right here. So this is what I want to do. Click on it. Hit a, it's going to start the installation process. Click yes. Click OK. Because I am doing this in English. Uh, I don't know what other languages it has but I'm doing this in English get to this screen welcome to LSPDFR LSPD first response which is the FR stands for first response click next okay this is the license agreement I agree go on to click I agree when you get to this screen go on to click next now when you get right here you want to make sure it's going to the correct that it will install in the correct um, um, location so I wanted to install in program files Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 5 right now if you downloaded the game from Steam it might be something like program files common Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 5 something like that I'm not sure but make sure he's going to the correct spot where you actually have the game installed. Click next. And usually hit a automatically find the game. Okay, when you get right here, click finish. Leave this here checked. If it's not checked, go on to check it. And click finish. Alright, this little screen will come up right here. Welcome to LSPDFR configuration. Click next. When you get right here, over here to the right where it says show license, click on that. This little screen will come up. You do a countdown, click accept. All right, when you get to this screen where it says please accept Rage Plugin Hook license, what you want to do is click do it for me right here that's highlighted. Right below the green check, click do it for me. 
okay so when you get right here this little box up here check that all right this here says 250 just leave that alone don't bother that just leave it right there go down to the lower right corner of the box click save okay and you are done with that if you go back to your directory you notice it says LSPDFR and then you got plugins right there good to go now what you want to do is go to rage plugin hook and you want to do the latest one if you have more than one downloaded so my latest one is October 28th 2018 I will open that now you want to highlight everything to begin with once you have everything highlighted what I do I hold down my control key and I unclick license and I unclick SDK I let go of my control key I click in the middle and I drag everything over here down here in the right part not up here in a folder but down here in the white part and just let it go he's asking me do I want to replace now he's asking me do I want to replace because when you install LSPDFR which we just did it automatically <clears throat> excuse me he automatically installs a rate a rage hook but the rage hook that it installs is an outdated one so we install it the updated one so we other words we replace the outdated one with the updated one okay rage plugin hook is set to go now if you want to make sure your game works you can go on and go down till you see rage plugin hook right here and go on and click on it And before you launch it, click Properties, click Events. Oh, hold on. Let's go to the right one. Click Properties, click Events. Okay, we good there. And I also do GTA. click events and anything that when you click in if it asks you do you want to run as administrator click yes and I'm just double checking these just for the video I'm double checking them I already know it works because I played I was playing the game okay so now you could go on and you could start the game if you want to just to make sure everything is working so far so what I'm going to do I believe I have rage plugin hook already on my screen and yeah, maybe I don't okay I have it right here let's see if that worked that's the you know what for this video we're gonna use this one. but you can drag it over here and make a shortcut on your screen so when you click on it this should pop up click accept When you get to this, you can make a backup copy. I never click yes because I always back up my copy on the <clears throat> on an external hard drive. And I'm I apologize because I'm a little sick as I'm doing this video, so my vo my voice may go in and out a little bit. But he won't let me click no. So what I normally have to do is go down. Excuse me.
go down here and click on this X and get that off the screen. And then I relaunch Rage Plugin Hook. Like you, like I said, you could take this, right click on it, and click Send to wherever it is. Send to Desktop. Make a shortcut, and then you have a shortcut on your desktop. Desktop. So right here, it says, um, where it says F4. Leave that right there. If you want to change it later, if it if for is uh, interfering with one of your other commands that you have to use as F4 for, then you can come back and change it. Click on plugins. Now, right here, it's all magnet gun low LSPDFR. But go on to click right here in the middle where it says low all plugins on startup. That way, what that's going to do when you start your game all the plugins that you <clears throat> add in from now on hit automatically start those plugins you won't have to manually go through and try to start them yourself hit the automatically start them for you when you go to advance I really don't do anything over here I leave that alone now I go to game settings and I click right here where it said command line switches I go down and I play in borderless window so right here where it said force window mode I check that and I also play in borderless window now you may not do that but I do that's just how I play so once you did all of your clicking right there Hit save and launch down here at the bottom. Save launch. It's going to go this and this is telling you that you can come back and make changes. Um, just click OK. And let me, where well, I leave these open. So whenever this, you see this screen and you want to make changes or you want to stop it click the X to stop it or click this settings icon to go back in and make changes and here take you to the screen that we just came off of the screen like where I was clicking borderless windows and then load all programs here to go back to that screen if you click the settings icon or if you just want to stop it all together you could click the X Hit a stop it all together. Now, as I'm making this video, I am uploading another video as we speak, so my computer may be a little slower than yours. Um, if you're following me, if you're following along and you're doing the things I'm doing, my computer may be a little slower than yours. So that's fine. If your if my computer a little faster than yours, that's fine. As long as you get in game and your game's working right and you can enjoy the game, that's all that matters. And guys, no, I'm not going to cut this part off because I want you to see that what I'm doing actually work. I don't want to, like you're looking at this screen, and then the next second you're looking at another screen, and you're like, okay, did that actually work? And did he have to go back and do something, and he's not just going to tell us what he had to do? You know, so... So hopefully you get right here and everything's working good for you so far. Now you can tell that Rage plugin hook is working if you see like the Rage icon come up of course. 
if you see this, then you you're doing good. Now I have played the game, and this screen right here where it says Rage Plugin Hook and it's loading all of this, I have played the game and that didn't come up, and my game worked fine. So if you don't see that right here, then um, as long as your game is still loading, like down there on the lower right hand corner, you see loading story mode with Rage Plugin Hook. If you see that, then you should you should be good to go. So yeah, guys, if you ever look at any of my videos where I'm actually playing the games and you want to know something. I mean feel free to leave a comment and ask me and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability uh, even if you just want to know hey what what call out is that that you went to when you had to do this and that and that and I try to answer that too so you can see we're in game now if you look at the map down in the lower left corner you see the map you see you see that green question mark to the right of that green question mark you see a shield with a star that's a police station so if you see that police station and I could just go to the bitmap and show you if you see these little stars right here then you're good to go you are good to go now this is how I'm gonna walk outside this is how I go on duty well I'm gonna show you how you can go on duty first I'm gonna show you both ways you could go to one of these police stations right here and most most people either use this one most people either use this one which is in the city or they use the one up here if I could get my game to add right but it's not they use the one up here in the county but you go to any one any one of these and um walk inside and walk to the to the back door or to the locker room and a little icon to come up and it'll tell you to hit this button to go on duty and you could go on duty but now how I go on duty is this is how my game load up every time I start right here at the same house I go and do that I hit F4 and this screen will pop up and I just type in F O R and you see at the bottom where it says force duty when I see that I hit my tab key and then I hit enter and bam just like that I am on duty and I hit F4 again to get that off just like that I'm on duty I'm not in an outfit or a uniform or anything but I'm on duty and the reason I'm not in a uniform because I haven't installed the EUP menu which is the emergency pack uniforms like FBI police officers sheriff officers and all of that okay so I'm on duty um, if I wanted to I could spawn a car if I hit F4 if I hit F4 again and I hit the number two to go down the vehicle and hit car spawner hit number five to bring up this and then I hit two to go over until I see wait I could have chose uh, FBI until I see police car and spawning in now these are police cars that come with the game now I haven't installed ELS and all of that yet so I may be um, okay there we go I should say I may not know how to work the the regular one but there we go we in a police car oh sorry about that get that off the screen 
and two I was waiting for a car to come by to um if you want to test it for the if you got if you don't if you got this far and your game haven't crashed which it shouldn't be then you um are doing good I was hoping a car would come by that I could try to pull over one but now that I'm out here no car is going to come by so let's just go and see if we can pull over a car now with this the very minimum of of LSPDFR oh hold on I'm sorry come on by um now it's stuck okay now I'm stuck and I can't drive oh wow but with the bare minimum of LSPDF for R which is what we're using let's see if it'll work the way okay so we single her just stop she stopped so let's get out and walk up to this person so there we go There we go. We can ask for an ID, issue her a warning, and issue her a citation, and all all of that good stuff. We issue her a warning, and we good to go. Okay, so let's go back out, and let's go do some plugins. Let's do some plugins. And don't forget to right click on this and make sure if it's asking you to run as administrator, then you click yes to run administrator and then you click apply. Okay, so we going to do some plugins. So we did advanced hook, we did script hook five, we did rage plugin hook. We did LSPDFR, of course. You know, we need to do that. So now we're going to do better EMS, traffic policer, and police smart radio. All right. Well, let's do all. Let's do all the plugins. Let's just do. We do all of these except for radius V, right now. So we're going to do all the plugins right here and get it all done. Now these plugins, I'm doing all of them at once because I know they work. So yeah, let's go on and do. I'm going to try to leave room for three up here if I can. And I can now. I don't mind if this is covering this up a little bit because it don't it don't matter. All right, so we going to start with better EMS. So we got better EMS, and what's the latest one I got? The latest one I have is from September of 2017. So let's open that up. And this little ad always pop up when I open that, but anyway. So now if you're doing a plug in that you're not familiar with and you don't have someone like me sitting here tell you what to do first thing you would want to do is click on the read me text because that would tell you what you need to know about the plugin and how to install it okay so we're going to click on the gta 5 folder open that up if i could double click on it and right here you got all three of these we're going to highlight all three of them and we're going to drag them down here into the white area and let it go now 
you notice that the plugin is highlighted over here in your directory and LSPDFR is highlighted over here in your directory and if you go down you see something else highlighted uh, did I pass it right here and the reason they are highlighted is that's letting you know that LSPDFR that you drug over here it install whatever this LSPDFR here is into your LSPDFR same name with the plugins okay so that's better MS now let's do traffic police and I'm gonna explain I try to explain what each plugin is better EMS is when you see people call playing the game and they call a EMS on their little walkie-talkie that's better EMS that's what that is he all black he says the fire truck and the ambulance to this <clears throat> to the scene that is better EMS now I like it but I wish they would send um, just the EMS or give you the option to maybe it does maybe it give you the option to ask for a fire truck and just an EMS but I don't think so I know of it I know of a plugin to give you an option just to call a fire truck but not a, just the EMS okay so now we do traffic police did I not here we go and traffic police what's my latest one July 2018 so we use that one And same thing, I'm going to open up Grand Theft Auto folder. And now we already have the Rage installed. Um, so I'm not going to install that one. But you can, you can drag all four of them over there. It won't hurt anything. I'm going to install these three. Drag over here into the white part and bam installed and now we are going to police smart radio now traffic police is when I when you see me just a few minutes ago pull over that car and I had the option to write a citation or a warning when traffic police are give you more options basically basically it gives you more more options I only have what two or three options in traffic police or you have maybe nine or ten options maybe even more so we doing police smart radio now I'm doing police smart radio by Apple and I want the latest one January 4th 2018 July 22nd 2018 now police smart radio is basically kind of what it says it's the radio when you see me, uh, people playing like I'm playing and you see the little radio on the bottom right hand corner of the screen that's police smart radio where you could call for backup or whatever so we gotta click on Grand Theft Auto open that up and we're gonna drag all of these over now you notice a lot of my plugins that I installed you're gonna notice this Apple coming that's the person who made the plugins that I installed that I'm installing and for his plugins to work you need this right here now if you look over here you see he has just Apple comment right here that you can download that will work with all of his plugins that's why I'm doing that last I'm gonna do this last cause that would tie all of his plugins that I already installed that would tie all of them together so this is like the final step right here 
Okay, so I'm gonna drag these over. And if it asks to replace, and what it's replacing is, let me let that do its thing. What it's replacing is, you notice the last time when we did traffic policer, um, I had Apple Carbon over here and I drag it over. So now I put another one over there so it's replacing it. Now we're going to do a sorted callouts, which is another one by Apple. And sorted callouts is just um, different scenarios of calls you would get as a police officer. Oh, wrong day. So sorted callouts, and I want to do. Hmm. Wait. Okay. Here we go. 2018. Right here. Open that up. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open Grand Theft Auto. And I'm not gonna drag this over anymore. I think you get the picture of what. I'm talking about because we're gonna do the up-to-date one at the end and then we're gonna skip this one for now because we're gonna do it last and we're gonna go down to arrest manager and arrest manager is basically what it says it gives you options to arrest somebody and put them in custody so I want to arrest manager let's narrow the search Dude, that's Okay, arrest manager, I want the latest one, which is going to be this one. August 2018. Yep. So I'm going to open that up. And the reason I have so many of the same is every time there's an update, I download it and see what it does. It saves the original or the previous update or the previous version. You know, because sometimes you download the update and it may have bugs and you may want to go back to the previous one. So I'm going to do the same thing, drag it over. All right, that's good to go. Now we're going to go to police search. And police search is when you search somebody to see if they got any drugs on them or a gun. Or you can search a vehicle to see if anything illegal in the vehicle. So I'm doing a police search. I'm gonna open it up. And you notice this one has plugins, so I'm just gonna grab this plugin folder, drag it over here, and bam, I'm done. Now let's see. Anything else from Apple? Well, let's go to traffic stop backup. Now, traffic stop backup is when you pull over a car and you want another police officer to come um, and um, help you out on the on the on the traffic stop. So let's say you pull over a good, a good, a good, um, a good scenario is you pull over a car, you run the license plate, and it says the owner of this car is wanted for a felony. Okay, on your smart radio, you have the option to call for backup for a felony stop, and then some other police officers would come and help you do that felony stop. So what we looking for? Police. Okay, traffic stop backup right here. 
open that up. How long was that latest one? This is the latest one. So, open that up. And this goes in down here. All right. I want to save back up. Now, on scene backup is is let's say you're not at you not at a traffic stop. You um, like let's say you got a call out and there's a bar fight, right? And when you get there, you see two people fighting. When you get out the car, you can select on scene backup and hit and send another officer out to help you out or, or you send two or three officers out however many you want to help to help you out so we open that up open this up drag the plug is down here bam done with that now we're going to do LSPDFR plus Now LSPDFR plus is it's like the court system um, where you, where you could like if you've done some arrest, let's say the day you play in and you do some arrest tomorrow. You log into your game and you start playing, and when it load up, it'll tell you that about <clears throat> the arrest that you made the previous day or your previous arrest, and it'll tell you that you can check to see whether they were sentenced or whether they was let go or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna click on Grand Theft Auto. And we're gonna click plugins, drag it down. Bam. Now we're gonna do LSPDFR Computer Plus. Now LSPDFR Computer Plus is when uh, if I can find it, let me just type in this. And we and while I'm at it, we're gonna do additional computer plus. But computer plus is when you pull over somebody and you get back in the car and you fill out their arrest report or citation, or you can look at the you can look up somebody's name um, while you're inside the car on the computer or all of that stuff that you see me doing on my videos. Then that's computer plus. That's what that is. So we're gonna do computer plus we're gonna open GTA main folder and we're gonna drive the plugins over here. Bam, we done. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do additional computer plus. And additional computer plus is it just adds photos to the name. So when you look up somebody ID or you look up a license plate here to add the photo of that person or of that car to the to the name make it more realistic so we're going to drive plugins over here and bam we done now we're going to go back up and we're going to do apple comments Apple his Apple 125. I'm trying to narrow narrow this down. Okay, so we want the latest one. 
which look like it's gonna be this one July 27th 22nd 2018 and one good thing about Alvo and his mods if you do go in game and let's say you got an out of date version of whatever mod that you installed by him he to tell you and he to give you the option to go and download the the uh, latest version so he's gonna ask me to replace I'm gonna say yes now one thing I did not put on here that I should have that I'm going to put on here now that's open IV that's what you're going to need to um, if you want to add different police cars and and I'm going to need it to install this right here so let's do open Um, I don't think it, I think it downloads as OP, OP, um, OPI, um, I'm going to have to find it here, that's co-op, I think it's OVI. Yeah, OVI. That's how it downloads. So let's go on and click that. I don't know what this is. Is it thinking? Maybe thinking. Nope, there we go. Open IV installation. Continue. So that this is in English and Russian. Okay, so it's got to do some downloads. So Open IV help if help you out. I mean, you basically need it. I'm just gonna be honest. You basically need it, and I hate I forgot about it until now. But yeah, download. Open IV English and Russian. Download Open IV and when you get here, click accept. And right here, make sure it's going to where you need it. Yep. And right here. Sure. Yep. 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 It's gonna download the update. And one thing about OpenIV here to automatically update too. So when you even after you install it and you get ready to open it up again, if there's an update, it's gonna automatically download the update. It's not going to ask you do you want to download the update or anything. It's just gonna automatically go to this screen and download the update. Now guys, I don't have the fastest internet, so yours could have probably went zoop right through there. <laughs> but mine don't do that, so you have to bear with me. Why it's doing that? Radius V is your police cars, the emergency lights, if they're real dim and you can barely see them, Radius V will take care of that, make them nice and bright for you. Nice and bright. If you notice when I was using that other police car, how dim the lights was, well, Radius V is going to take care of that. And just for giggles, I will, since I'm installing OpenIV, I just install one police car to show you how to do it. Okay, so 
we done with installing the mods itself for radius V. We can actually close my GTA or your GTA directory. I'm going to leave this open for now. And I'm going to go over here to open IV. I'm going to click on it. Hopefully this works because I already had it on there. Okay, I'm going to click right here for Windows. Uh, and we need to browse for my game. So let's go to C, Program Files, Rockstar Games, GTA select all right and if you see if you see this message down here I can't speak successfully and it says continue you're good to go the configuration process is not finished up oh, hello click continue I'm sorry I'm looking at two things at once don't forget to back up your original files that's what it, the message told me. Um, and the reason I had to do that is because, see, I already had this shortcut on my computer. So that shortcut, I took the files out for that shortcut, basically, what I did. So when you open up, oh, this is new. They got a, a video. Would you like to watch a video about changes in this version? Wow. So that is new. So guys, if you use OpenIV 3.0, you may want to watch that video. I'll probably go back and watch it later. I wish I could minimize it. I can. So I'll probably go back and watch that later, actually. So. Can I bring this? Oh, he's not going to let me click on that. I'm going to have to close this. Okay. So, what I want to do, I want to minimize this this way. Better. Now, I'm going to install Radius V. So, I'm going to go back over here. And, guys, remember... All of my mods I've downloaded, it's on the flash drive. So all of these here are on the flash drive. Very easy for me to get to. And I want to do ray, radius V right here. Open that up. I want to open up this folder, say radius V. And right here, I'm going to go to this where it says MIF JPEG or JPG. Open that up. That's the directions. And I'm going to go down and I just want to know where to install it. I can't see my mouse when it goes over there. I'm going to bring this over. Right there should be good. So. In red, he says, well, I just read it from the beginning. Use open, I, open IV to replace the corresponding file visual settings within update RPF. With the one you, with the one of your choosing provided in this package. Install location, GTA 5. Update. So we're going to go to update. We already in GTA 5 right here. We are open IV GTA 5. So we're going to go to update. Click on that. Oh, let's click. You don't have to click edit right now, but I'm going to do it. Well, matter of fact, you do. Okay. Now, we don't have this installed. So we want to install that. So let's install. Open IV ASI. We install that. And 
it should be installed. I always give it a few more seconds. Now I'm going to click um, update and we're going to click update. We're going to click update data RPF and we're going to click common and data and we're going to click show and mods right here now what we want to do we could go over here we could close this and we're going to go to visual settings right here now these other settings uh, don't mess with them I don't I mean if you want to read more in the instructions and figure out what they for did feel free to do so but I just want my lights brighter on my police car so I go to visual settings and I don't use very bright because bright is plenty bright enough for me I've never used very bright I don't think I have I'm gonna click on bright and right here where it says visual settings that DAT over here you see visual settings that what I'm going to do is drag this over and it's going to replace this now what you can do before you drag the new one over to replace it you can drag this old one out onto your desktop or to another folder and that way here to save it you know so if you drag this over you say well that's too bright I already have the old one then you can just go back and drag the old one back in okay so I'm just gonna drag this over bam done and that is it click edit get out of that get out of that and we're going to go back to rage plugin hook and start it back up it's running as administrator yes thank you Oh, I forgot to install the car, guys. I know I said I was going to do it since I had open IV open. You know what? Before the game gets started, I'm going to do it. So let's go to open IV again. Let's start it up. Make sure when it hit that first screen come up and you click on Windows. You don't click on Xbox or PS4 or anything like that do I already have okay now you want to install a car for the very first time let's go to I haven't done this in a long time for the very first time so I'm gonna try to remember I believe it's update 864 DLC packs Go to your last patch day. My patch day is 19. Go to your very last one. And I think if you um, got a fresh copy or if you up to date on your GTA 5, I think it should be 19. But go to your last one, whichever one it is. Open that. Go to DLC RPF. Click on it. And this telling you don't forget to click edit mode to make changes and all of that. Now go to S64. Go right here where it say levels. Click on that. <laughs> it's gonna keep telling me do that until I, until I get to the part where I actually want to do it. Now right here, don't click on patch day 19 or whichever patch day you originally clicked on a few or five clicks ago. Click on GTA 5. Now click on vehicles RPF. Now click edit. Now show in box folder. 
now and you see all these vehicles and we this is all the vehicles. look at here you got your police vehicles if you click on that police yft a picture of the police vehicle come up and look i already got some installed i forgot i already got some installed i got that installed I'm not using it right now. Now, if you wonder why Chris that didn't show up um, when you spawned in the police vehicle, the original one showed up. That's because I didn't have OpenIV installed. I just installed OpenIV and I already had these installed um, in OpenIV. I hope that makes sense to you. I did have OpenIV installed into my GTA, GTA 5 game directory. That's why I hit use the police car that came with GTA 5. But now that I have OpenIV installed in my GTA 5 main directory, hit up, this car will pop up. Okay, but still, I'm going to show you how to um install cars this is yeah so it it saved all of my cars for my previous installation so yeah you got the police police 2 police 3 and police 4 and you have your fbi and your sheriff card there's sheriff down here um you go up you see fbi go up you see an ambulance and you see your fire trucks which is where is fire truck oh I haven't installed a new fire truck so it's not gonna show up right now but if I install a new fire truck it'll show up right here okay so we are gonna replace this car the one I was just looking at. I'm gonna replace that one. So let's make like it's the original car that you got. His, his, it worked the same. Whether you're looking at this car right here or you're looking at the original car or you just want to replace the car that you've already replaced before. It works the same. So we're gonna replace police why police car right here with um have I downloaded a car recently? Sheriff Deputy Cruiser. Um, you know what? Just for giggles. Just for giggles. You can see I'm uploading a video. Just for giggles. We're going to go and we're just going to pick out a car. We're just going to pick out a car and download it and install it and this will give you guys time too to go to and pick out a car you want to download and I don't want to download a pack because a pack is multiple cars I just want to download one car just for this video um, That's a pack. And a lot of people are doing packs, which is fine. But just for this video, um, I don't want to do it. So we're going to download this Dodge Magnum by Trooper Ghost. I'm going to download that. And, okay, here it go. Oh, I cannot read that. I never get these right on the first try. Now, to me, it looked like C7PN4. Um, L-Y? That's what it looked like to me. What it looked like to you guys. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I was right. 
I was right. Now, if I would have recorded this video, I would have been wrong. Believe me, cause I hardly ever get them right on the first time. So, I'm going to save it to my flash drive. And like I told you guys, I save all of my mods that I download to my flash drive. My USB drive right there. So, I'm going to download the 2004 Dodge Magnum. Now, on the on the screen it said 2008 but that's why I see right here it says 2008 so maybe it's a typo in one of the one of them but so I'm gonna click it's already downloaded I'm gonna open the folder I'm gonna open the is it not gonna open for me okay let me minimize this there we go. Okay, so Dodge Magnum. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on Models. And see, we already got it. Police YFT. Police YFT. So, I'm going to bring this over. And there, Dodge Magnum Archive is. Oh, it didn't download right. It did not download right. All of it didn't download for some reason. Let's try it again. It didn't download all of the files, so let's try it again. Let's try it again. Dodge. Two thousand four. It would be the car that I choose to download don't do not want to cooperate, but I'm sure you guys get what I um what I'm saying. Now it says it's finished downloading, but I don't know. The other one said that too. It usually don't finish that early. Okay, let's try it now. Um, let me open this and let's see. I'm going to go back to Dodge Magnum. Now, uh, what did it say? Okay, so something's going on with that car. Yeah, it's not, it should be three files right here. Now that I think about it. All right, let's use another one. Let's use another one. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, I'm, this is some um, some problems you may run into, you know, when when you're downloading. And if you see how I correct them right here in this video without cutting out the video, then hopefully here to help you. Hopefully it will help you. That's a pack. That's a pack. I just want one single car. I don't want a pack. I guess I could have did that one. Now this uh, 2018 Dodge Madden. Let's try that. Let's try this one. Uh, get that off the screen. Click download this file. I don't know, something's going on with that other Dodge Magnum. All of the files are not downloading. Click save. And I should have known something was wrong because it don't usually download that quick. Like as soon as I hit download, it was like complete. And see here, 
I still got what a minute to go to download and of course it's taking a little longer because I am uploading a video from the same computer as I'm recording this video so And I know some some um, viewers have asked me what uniforms I use and um, yeah, what uniforms I use for some of my videos. And the uniforms I use are all UMP uniforms. So now I'm going to click open folder. Click on that. Click on this and now we click replace and you see we got four files right here we should which is good because like I said you should have at least three now notice remember I said I want to replace police not police 2 you see this say police 2 but I want to replace police I could replace police 2 but I like police too. I like police three. I like police four. I rather replace police. So what I'm gonna do is go over here and take the two off and save it. See, he just say police. Uh oh, he just say police. I go here. I click once. I click twice. I click three times. Well, I want to highlight it, which I could. I backspace to take the two off. I click down here in the open area and hit a save it. And I do the same thing for this. Backspace. Click in the open area. Save it. Click once. Click twice. Click three times. Backspace open area save it now what this is gonna do is replace that car remember the black car with the white police written on the side it's gonna replace that so now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on police and BAM Dodge Magnum Dodge Magnum now now when you're in this screen now his not going to show all the features. It's just giving you an idea what it looks like. So it's not going to show all of the wheels and the tires. It might not show all of the little red and blue lights and all of that. It's just then you know that, okay, you installed this. And this is basically how it's going to look. When you get a game, it, it should look the way it's supposed to look. Now, another tip. Let's say you like all your police cars but you like well I don't really like that FBI car you basically do the same thing you go over here you click once click twice click three times behind the E behind the E now you notice it's got a dot YFT you don't want to mess with the dot YFT part you just want to mess with the police part and the police too or whatever but you know, you just backspace. You say uh, FBI. Click down here in the white part and here to save it. And you do the same thing for these. You know, just delete the. Get this off the screen. Delete the police part. Replace it with FBI. Delete the police part, FBI. Yeah, let's do the same thing there. Now we're going to take a look at my FBI vehicle. Let's take a look at it, see what we got in there. I think we got the 
so we got the Dodge Charger right so that's the Dodge Charger I I made a I believe a bad boys video using this vehicle so if you look at that bad boys video and you look at this vehicle you say well yeah yeah this this is just a reference of how the vehicle is gonna look it don't look nothing like the well I ain't gonna say nothing like but it's just this is the stripped down version just to let you know that you installed it basically so we want to place replace that Dodge Charger with the Dodge what is it um, Magnum so we gotta click on FBI again BAM Dodge Magnum and yes you can have the same car in two different spots that's FBI and then you go down to police you can have the exact same car in two different spots it don't matter if you want to use one police car for all the police cars you can do that you can do that or uh, one police car for police and sheriff and FBI you can do that okay so we got, I'm gonna close that I'm gonna click edit close that and now remember we installed radius V we start open IV, we start radius V. Right? So we're gonna go back to Rage plug in hook and start it up. And see how the lights start. Um one thing guys, I'm so sorry. One thing I forgot. You can tell I'm trying to get you guys set up and ready to go. But I, I forgot one more thing, and I'm sorry. But you guys are going to appreciate it. You are going to appreciate it. So pull back up your GTA directory. All right. And for some of you guys who are more familiar with this than maybe beginners, you 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 like um. You know what I'm missing. When you are in a police car, what do you use for your lights? You use ELS, Emergency Lighting System. And look at all these ELS folders I have, but I won't. To go to ELS. Go to Grand Theft Auto, and I won't. And this got a bad hook in it. I forgot about that. I'll pick all of these, and since I installed a bad hook, I'm not going to reinstall it. And just cap over there into your main directory. Now, over here in your directory, notice it got ELS. Click on that. Click on Pack Default, and you already got Police right here. All right so what I'm going to do I want all of my police cars and all of my sheriff vehicles to work on the ELS system plus my FBI and my fire ambulance and all of that if it's an emergency vehicle I want it to work on the ELS system so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a copy of this police one right here copy paste Pace, pace, pace. I'm just gonna do. I'm not gonna. I'm just showing you what I would do, and then I would just go through, and the ones that said copy, I would just take it and, like right here, I put police two. So my police two car would be working on ELS, and right here. I'm just ah uh, let me go back. I'm just basically doing. Hello, my my computer's not keeping up with my clicks. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm basically doing the same thing we did when we were switching 
we were when we were changing the police two to just police. I'm doing the same thing over here inside the ELS folder. So let's say police three, and I'm gonna do one more. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of this out, and I'm gonna type in FBI. Because you know we changed the FBI card too, so now, now we're gonna open Rage plugin hook, and I'm sorry I forgot about that, guys. But and I think I forgot about that in my last video I did on how to install LSPDFR. I mean, some things you don't think about when you sit down, like if you want to do an installation video, you sit down and you think about what you need you type it out think about what you need and you always going to forget one or two things that you won't think about until you actually get in the game or get it started again you be like you know what I need this you know I should show how to do this so yeah we start rage plugin hook again And we will spawn in the police car, which is the Dodge Magnum, and the FBI car, which is the Dodge Magnum. And we spawn in with the police two car, which is not going to be the original car. It's going to be a, a car that I already installed into OpenIV. But I'm doing it so you guys can get an idea on how to install cars and then how they're going to look, you know, especially with Radius V, you know, so you get an idea that when you click on the picture in OpenIV that that's just a basic picture to let you know that you did install that car or that vehicle. So guys, I mean, I hope you guys are having or have had a pleasant Thanksgiving. And I hope all of you are safe and continue to be safe. I'm not sure when this video will be out. I'm thinking it will probably going to be out on Thanksgiving Day, sometime on Thanksgiving Day. Um, I'm going to try to put it out... Maybe between noon and 2 o'clock Thanksgiving Day. You know. But I'm not sure. I'm going to try to have it out on Thanksgiving Day. Hopefully. And while this loading, I'll let you know I have been playing Overkill's Walking Dead. I think I did maybe one or two videos on it. And I must admit, when I first started playing it, I did not like it because it does not have a tutorial. You know how a lot of games have a tutorial. Even when you start playing and you reach a certain spot, hit a maybe freeze the game and say, hit this button and this button to do this action. And then he to keep doing stuff like that until he figured you have an idea of what to do. Well, nah. Overkill's walking dead. None of that. They just throw you in the game like, okay, you figure it out. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Really? really? But once you start figuring it out, it, it becomes fun because you know what you're doing. Now, one thing I don't like about it still is the ammo. You do a missions and you collect ammo, but you don't get to keep the ammo. So every time you start a mission, you start off with maybe one clip or maybe 30 bullets for one gun and maybe 30 bullets for the other gun you have. And you have to count on, count on finding ammo throughout the mission. I mean, come on really okay guys sorry about that I 
had ordered something from Amazon and it came in. Well, I left the video running, of course, so I had to cut that little part out. I didn't want you waiting around an extra 10 or 15 minutes just looking at this scene right here. So let's see, let's go to, let's hit F4, and let's hit Force Duty, and see if we load in. Alright, so we load it up. Alright, so when you, when you load it up, and you're probably going to come to this screen right here. And this is talking about Poly Smart Radio, and he's asking, he's basically going to offer you to help you, and you can say, no, I don't want to help. So first choice is, yes, please help me set up Poly Smart ready, red, Radio the way I want it. No, I have already, part, and the second one is, no, I have already watched the video, or I have read the documentation, and I know what to do. So, um, you only have the opportunity to do this. Dispatch calling uh, unit one zebra device. 18. We've got an officer requiring assistance in West Finewood. Okay, so the first one is if you hit one for yes, it'll take you to a video. I'm going to skip one. Outside. I'm going to hit Copy two. We'll keep an eye out. Now, he's asking me, do I want to enable this button? And anytime it asks me that, I always click one for yes. So I'm going to click yes. Yes for this one. And I'm just clicking one all the way down. Now, guys, let me tell you um, you don't follow me, and you follow me on your computer, and you did this. If you got to the part where I went in a I type force duty and all my plugins loaded up. If you have a problem then and your system crash, what I would do, I would go back to, I would do, I would try first go to Apple Common and reinstall Apple Common. I reinstall that and try it again. If it don't work, I will go to Apple, one of his his latest web, I go to his um website on LSPDFR his his um web page, and I would download his latest call out Attention that he had on there. One zebra eighteen. We have a traffic alert for a drive by attack. I'll download his latest call out. If you did it once, do it again, cause you seen some files don't download all the way. But Dispatch, this is Ocean One responding. I would download his latest call out and I would reinstall that along with Abo coming. And if it asked me to replace anything while I reinstall it, I would click yes to replace. Because sometime when you're doing a fresh a a fresh um install of these plugins like I did and I did multiple ones, you may run into he may not want to um, load all the plugins up when you hit force duty. He may not want to load all of them in. So, and I found out if you reinstall Abo Common or even one of his latest mods that has Abo Common in, in it, it usually fixes that. Deals. So, just a little tip. I'm going to continue to hit one. And once I hit one, for all of these, um, I'm gonna have to reload. Uh, okay, so now I gotta go in and I need to go back on duty. Cause as you can see, LSPD if LSPDFR reloaded again, so we have to go in and go back on duty. So we hit F4, hit Force Duty. Go back on duty, and we may have some more buttons to confirm. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Nope. Yep, we do. So I hit one, 
and what this is multiple plugins use poly smart radio and that's all you're doing you're just making sure that these buttons will show up when you use poly smart radio so we gotta go back on duty again and once you do get all this set up then you're good to go you are good to go on scene back uploaded, traffic stop back uploaded, arrest manager loaded, assorted call outs, LSP Disorder Plus, Police Smart Radio loaded. Alright, so there we go. All of that loaded. Now we all do there as a cop, even though we're not in cop clothes. The game still recognizes us as a cop. So now I'm going to spawn let's step back so I'm going to spawn a car I'm gonna hit F4 F4 again I'm gonna hit 2 to go down hit 5 hit 5 I'm gonna hit 2 until I get to what FBI let's do FBI first right there go over hit 5 and for me to go over like I'm going here I'm hitting 4 now and then I hit six to go the other way until I highlight what I want to be on. And when I highlight FBI right there that I want to be on, I hit five, and hit a spot in the car. In. And there you go. That Dodge Madden. I didn't know it was going to take the other car away. But yeah, the Dodge Madden. If you. That's all. Um go up here out of the way you can see the radio showing up down there we just gonna go up here out of the way and you can see the lights are nice and bright you can see them they're not overly bright like some some cars could be and they will they could be brighter if I had which I don't think I have it Nope, I don't. If you go in and you do the, uh, uh, I think it's enhance native trainer. If you install that, you could take these tents off the window, and the lights would be even brighter. The tent on the windows is kind of dimming the lights a little bit. But I like this Dodge map. I like it. So that was the FBI. Let's do, um, what was the other one I did? The police. So let's do police. See? Dodge Matt. There you go. Turn the siren on. Right. Now I'm gonna spawn in. So I'll show you how lights to look on other vehicle. Let's do police two. I just got the lights up top. There you go. There we go. Now let's go pull over someone. Dispatch calling unit one zebra eighteen. Citizens report a possible four eighty four and little oh. so I'm looking at the call out over there and ran into the wall. So we go pull over someone, and then I show you the traffic stop bag up that I use and all of that good stuff. We're gonna pull over this car. So we're gonna pull behind it, and I'm gonna hit 
what is it on my is it a I think it's a on my controller oh they gone I'm looking at my controller and not the car so I'm gonna pull up behind it I'm gonna hit a to let them know I want them to stop and they came to a stop Now I'm gonna use my um hold on. I'm gonna go down here on my radio to plate check, check the plate. Target vehicle license plate. Two, James. five, Edward, Nora, Henry, no four, citations. two, three, no, ten, ninety-nine. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my radio again. I'm hitting C to pull my radio back up. And I'm going to go to... See, I got... I could call coroner, EMS, and all of that. Well, I'm going to go to traffic stop so I can get another vehicle to come. Backup required back in... Uh, Vinewood Hills. And here come another vehicle, a sheriff vehicle. Well, he's stopped for the moment. May have to spawn back in. He may have to spawn back in. Here you come. So he stop and get out. Where she is stopped, get out. Go to the passenger side. There we go. And then I show you how many options we got now. Look, we got a few more options here. And then if you want to issue a penalty, you got 35 options to choose from. You know, up oh, now, so that's traffic stop backup. Now, on scene backup is if you hit, you could use your control. I mean, your radio. If you wanted to, like, I don't see back up if I wanted another female to come, I could use that. Or simply, I just do a control, I think it's control five. Backup needed. Yeah, control and five. Vinewood Hills. And another police will, uh, another cop will come. And I, I do that, like, if it was somebody, oh. It was somebody if those two people was over there fighting right here and I was the only one on scene I I do an on scene backup so it'll be me and another officer okay so I hope this helped you guys if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I will try my best to help you all right so guys Enjoy your Thanksgiving, enjoy the holiday season, and as always, see ya.